Good day, fish tankers. It's been now just over seven months since I've installed this plenum in my pea puffer tank that runs alongside the original sponge filter. And as you can see, it just looks like an old style under gravel filter and you'd be right. It just runs very slowly. You see, you have to be able to count the bubbles just a trickle that slow. And the plenum refers to the space underneath the plate actually. And in that space, there's a few, just a handful of bio beads, a little bit of biological media, but not enough to fill up the space. But let's see how it did. So the idea of a plenum is, besides the fact that it's a very slow moving undergravel filter, that you have a different sort of base on it. Uh, the substrate is a mixture of kitten lay, kitty litter, kit, cat litter, clay cat litter, of course, not artificial stuff, mixed with a source of iron, which is laterite, some sea chem fluoride red in this instance, and then topped off by sand or gravel, as you see here. Now, the idea is that that slow moving planet creates anoxic filtration that breaks down nitrate, much like my deep substrates seem to do and the other thing is that it eliminates phosphates from the water and that causes algae to die off and because this is a very difficult tank with algae because i have pea puffers in it and they are nippy and i can't get any cleanup crew like for instance otto sinkless or snails there are a few rams or not rams on there are a few Malaysian trumpet snails surviving in here, but they don't seem to do much. But in that aspect, it hasn't worked curtailing algae. I've tried experimenting with less light, light uh, putting a photo period down, and all of that. But as you can see, this is after just over a week's growth of algae here. So for algae, curbing algae, it didn't work, but it's been. We have six weeks now without a water change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some maintenance on it now. Remove the algae once again. And then test the nitrate to see if it does indeed reduce nitrate. Because they get brine, frozen brine shrimp and blood worms every single day. So not a high bio load of these four pea puffers in the five gallon tank. But meaty foods so that causes the algae and that can also because there's a bigger load in food in terms of ammonia it will eventually improve a nitrogen cycle result of nitrate so if plenum doesn't reduce nitrate we might have a high nitrate reading but let's test it and we see what we got okay so i've just tested for the nitrate here's the sample i let it stand as per the instructions for um 10 minutes you can see there's hardly any color in it it's a jbl test kit that i'm using not sponsored and if we compare there to the chart you know you have a one that's that's not the samples just clear water you can see there's a little bit more color than the one that's less than 0 0.05 and this is one ppm of nitrate that's very little and you can see my test specimen is still a little bit lighter it's not 0.05 but it's lighter than 1 ppm of nitrate. So I think we can say that it split the difference, probably 0 0.07 of nitrate. And here's the phosphates. Now, we can see there it's lighter than that one. And there is point. It's not quite 0 0.05 and it's not less than 0 0.02. So let's say it's 0 0.03 ppm of phosphates so okay in that aspect the plenum has clearly worked because for such a small tank taking into account that there hasn't been a water change in six weeks it really does a great job of reducing nitrate and phosphate that definitely does work you won't do that without this slow moving plenum so the anoxic filtration does work okay fish tanker so here we are now I have filled up some of the patchy bits 
when I pulled the old gear away that uh, pulled the gravel with it, filled it up with some sand. And this is what's left of these cryptocurrency plants. There's still smaller versions of them left there growing out of the sand. Uh, sort of weathered Anubias and Bulbitis because I keep on rubbing the algae off them. And I would like those crypts to grow out. But yeah, I've got some root tabs in there, but that doesn't seem to be working so great. So you guys got to tell me in the comment section, what am I going to do with this tank? Because I love a pea puffers, so I'm not going to change the whole setup. But I've been thinking maybe just put a lot of roots and hardscape in here to give them hiding places and just make peace with the fact that they have to take a toothbrush and get rid of the algae. Or maybe there's some different plant that I can try. I can continue to experiment with a photo period and the lights. I'm not quite sure, but for now it's sticking on well. As far as the fish are concerned and the water quality, we've seen that the plenum does work to reduce nitrate. We've tested that. As for the phosphate, different story seems to work. But I think it doesn't show that the plenum is no good uh, for filtration purposes. It's just that it's an extreme example of a tank with the fact that there's no cleanup crew and that the pea puffers eat this high protein diet so I've purposely put the plenum in here to give it a really hard test so works water quality wise but not to the extent of combating algae so I can't say this is an indictment on this plenum method but it's not going to stop algae clearly in an extreme situation of protein feeding fish and no cleanup crew and plants that are battling because it gets overwhelmed by algae. Anyhow, let me know in the comment section what you think. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And until I see you again, keep taking good care of our domestic denizens of the deep. Mm -hmm.